Hello all, my name is Christian Hilberner. For those of you that do not know me, I am a reporter and video yearbook director at Bellevue West High School. Uh, this is our world news segment for the week. And if you have ever seen the segment before, some of you may be wondering, uh, where am I and why am I outside in this uh, somewhat of a snowstorm? Well, that's because the time is currently 8.05 a.m. Uh, Metro schools decided not to cancel school today. Uh, you can leave that decision up to your own personal judgment, but uh, this is just my street right here. Uh, never been touched by a plow once, the side streets. Uh, that's a steep hill there. That is also a steep hill there. That would be the only way that I could make it to uh, school today. And uh, yeah, I decided against that choice. In my judgment, along with my overprotective mother's judgment, uh, that's not a dig at her. This is the one good time it is nice to have an overprotective mom. I'm not going to school today. But naturally, the show must go on. I am a reporter in my due diligence. I will bring you the world news as it is scheduled to go up today, Wednesday. And uh, yeah, I just thought I would give a little update on my current predicament because uh, that's why I'm not gonna be in the same scenery that I'm in normally every week with Jenna. So Jenna, I hope you don't mind me doing this by myself, but the show must go on once and for all. So let's get started with the news of the week. Uh, first to start, three federal judges grilled lawyers for the Justice Department and Washington State Tuesday night as they considered whether to lift the U.S.-wide block on Donald Trump's travel ban. The appellate court judges sparred with attorneys over the president's use of sweeping executive power. They questioned the connection between the seven affected countries and terrorism and launched into tough questions over whether the ban discriminated against Muslims or not. In entertainment news, Lady Gaga gave the performance of a lifetime at the 2017 Super Bowl, but rather than focusing on her art, however, some people have criticized the pop star's figure. Never one to let bullies win, Lady Gaga shared a message of body positivity via her Instagram Tuesday saying, quote, I heard my body is a topic of conversation, so I wanted to say I'm proud of my body and you should be proud of yours too. No matter who you are or what you do, she said, I could give you a million reasons why you don't need to cater to anyone or anything to succeed. Be you and relentlessly be you. That's the stuff of champions. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting me. I love you guys, end quote. In sports news, the verbal altercation between Kevin Durant and Draymond Green on Saturday was nothing more than an attempt on Green to light a fire under his superstar's teammate, league sources told ESPN on Tuesday. Sources told ESPN that Green was, quote, trying to use reverse psychology intentionally and aggressively approached Durant with a A of choice words during a break in Saturday's loss to the Sacramento Kings. I figured for the local news segment, I should bring it back outside to the point of local conversation this morning. Uh, this is Highway 370 behind me between Golden Boulevard and 36th Street. It looks pretty clear right now. I mean, cars are going up and down. It seemed to be going better than normal, but uh, there, there's a personal plow, not a city plow going by the street right now. Uh, my street has still remained untouched. Uh, as I've been recording this video, numerous cars have tried to get up and down this hill. They do it semi-successfully, but definitely not in a safe manner. Uh, Omaha Public Schools have just announced about 15, 30 minutes ago that their buses are expecting delays and they will be late and to count students as absent, as uh, not absent, but rather present and not give them tardy slips. Metro Police Departments have stated that they are not responding to any accidents that don't involve injuries. Their advice to people is if you are in an accident, pull over to a safe spot, exchange information and move on because there's just too many of them going on right now. There's a car slipping on 370 right there, tried to merge lanes, almost went into the median. Uh, yeah, but police presence is out. Snow plows are trying to get to every street. My street has still remained untouched. But, uh... To finish up, in interesting news, an Australian man became an instant multi-millionaire after accidentally winning the lottery twice, the media reported on Tuesday. The man who hails from Point Cook in Melbourne's West accidentally entered a Tetzlo lottery draw twice on February 4th with the same number. A Suna News Agency reported, when the man's numbers were drawn, he won two Division I prizes worth $1 million each. Quote, at first I thought, wow, I've won $1 million. So I was first lying in bed shaking, end quote, the man said on Tuesday. Quote, but then after an hour or so, I realized I hadn't checked the rest of my tickets. So I looked at the next one, and to my surprise, I found that I had played the same game twice. 
I wasn't expecting to win once, let alone twice, quote, end quote. The man pocketed just under two million tax-free from his mistake and plans to buy a home, a Ferrari, and take some time off work to travel and see the seven wonders of the world. That's it for world news. Uh, it's been a little bit of an interesting one this week, but uh, you gotta move, you gotta roll with the punches and do things differently sometimes, and uh, that's what we've tried to do best here at the Thunderbeat. We gotta give you news and we gotta get it to you, and uh, this is the best way we can do it. So. This is Christian signing off. I'll see you back here in the very near future. Create a project and just come up with your own business idea, basically. All right, DECA Week is a week in which we set up different activities around the commons and help promote DECA. 